that morning I was home and I remember looking up at the sky and it was a beautiful crystal clear day, the kind of day that pilots call severe clear. And I have a call from a friend of mine and said, Dan, did you see what happened? I said, no, what happened? He said, go inside and turn on the TV. I said, what station? And then he said, it doesn't matter. To the sound of a heartbeat pounding away. On a bright summer morning, under a clear and cloudless sky, terror struck. To grasp the enormity of it is almost too much for the heart to bear. September 11th. 2001. It is a date that will be etched in history, engraved in stone, and in our memories. The day of the attack on America. Center TMU, we have a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New York. American 11, are you trying to call? Let's stay quiet. I can't hear what you're saying there. Okay. Said American 11. Yes, we were hijacked. It appears an airplane crashed into the World Trade Center. When I was, we was chit chatting and um, the building that shook it. We heard a bang and the shake was, oh, it was horrible. The shake was like swayed so much and rumble like you know the, like the floor was going to open and uh, we walked towards the window and there we saw bits of papers all in the sky just all over there was debris and body parts and furniture falling outside the window people working in those buildings. I had inspected them before. So I got down in my firehouse, put together a team, and made my way down to Ground Zero. When I saw those five men coming up and we going up, my heart felt different. I'm like, okay, we got to make it up. what she was seeing and she said wait the top of the building is now surrounded by smoke and then it was a pause and she said the smoke is clearing oh my god oh my god the building is gone It just imploded down like this. And I'm just looking at it like I'm staring. I'm just like in awe. Before I could even straighten myself back up when I try to take my shoes off, the walls 
To me, like it just came in like an explosion. It's like a bomb just was in the wall, and everything was just crumbling. The dust, the darkness, it knocked me down, and it. I kept right there on that floor, and everything was coming on top of me. I'm sitting in the back. Somebody's coming back from business. If you can hold on for one second, they're coming back. Our number one has been stabbed, and our five has been stabbed. Can anybody get up to the cockpit? Okay, we don't know who's up there. We're waiting to be behind the ball house. So it's uh, all in Cleveland County. You're unreadable. Say again slowly. He's down? Yes. Why didn't he land? Because he, 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 did, he did not land. Down? Yeah, Down? somewhere up northeast of Camp David. A large plane crashed into western Pennsylvania, about 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Rescue three and a half, on your frequency. Ten four. Everybody, blow out everybody. Got people running up the street. Oh my God! Oh my God! There's bodies everywhere. They're all on fire. It's broken. This is the most horrific thing you've ever seen in your life. building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off it My pulled God. it down on itself and it is not there anymore it was it was like landing on another planet in an area of the city i knew very well it, everything was leveled it was covered with a thick white dust people were running around covered with blood with a look of shock on their faces it was it was just unbelievable for that to happen in the city of new york on september the 11th Enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country, and night fell on a different world. The strongest lesson I found was that even in the midst of, of the horror that Ground Zero was, that there was room for people to come together, there was room for compassion, for teamwork, for loving each other, and even a sense of, of peace and, and happiness grew almost like a phoenix from the ashes. And I'll tell you what, I wear it on my arm, I wear it in my heart, and I'll never forget what, what went on that day and what, what I've been through. When they get out of bed, the first thing while you're putting your feet on the ground is to take a look at your life and make a determination that you're going to live that day with an attitude of gratitude. Their duty to country will not be surpassed. Please honor their courage for some, it's their love.